Okay guys, the Who All is back with part two of the Carby component review. I was a bit quieter in my last video because it was like what, 12, 1 in the morning, most of my parents and my family had gone to bed so I didn't want to talk too loudly. Um, I realized part of the video had cut off as I was trying to attach the little pieces so now I'll show that they fit in this video then I'll run downstairs to my office and this video actually will feature actual quality firsthand. I have not tested out the cable yet, so we'll kind of see it together what it looks like and if it actually works. But let me just attach these things really quick. Um, I like using my phone to post these videos because it's quick. I just basically upload from my phone. So, it might not be the best quality, and I know my voice gets kind of nasally, so please bear with me. Okay, it's in the little socket, and I believe I just need to t push it down and twist it and tighten it. Yep, see, so now it's like tightened in there. If you notice, it has like a little socket area where you push it down and it locks in place. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the other two. And this is like a little thing where you can kind of see like the little stubs on the side where it locks in place. All three are nicely locked into place, so let's run downstairs to the office and power on my GameCube and test it out. <sighs> my office is a bit messy, so bear with me. Yep, this is my office. Yep, totally into manga. Crazy about manga in middle school. Now it's kind of K dramas and everything else. Um, I have this old time kind of bulky Samsung TV from Go Well. I only paid a dollar for it. Works great. And I also have Magnavox TV from Go Well. Paid a dollar for it. Works great. Um, this right here is my modded GameCube. I always wanted the purple one, or indigo as they call it, so this is the one I'll test it out on. Um, I already have my little memory card included, my little emulator, and I should have the Game Boy player disc inside. Yep, yeah, it's still in there. So, I know I have a Scooby-Doo game in here. I'll test it out on this. Um... I'm going to sit the phone down for a minute while I attach the cable. Yeah. TV kind of powering up. <laughs> Thank you. 
if you look at a lot of these older TVs, they have an area in the back where it explicitly says component. So that's where I believe this cable should be plugged into. Let me actually show you a little part of the back of the TV. Okay, look at the back of the TV. This little area right here. It says component right there. So I believe this is where I plug it into. I'll sit here and plug in the blue one. Plug in the red one. And plug in my green one. Plug this into the back of my GameCube. There you know. Fits perfectly back into there. Okay, let me just turn my TV back and I'll test it out. Okay, now I'm just about to power my GameCube on and see what happens. Um, nothing's happening, so I'm going to change the input on TV. Uh, input. So, TV, input, S-video. Ah, there we go. Let me turn the volume up. Maybe I gotta press start because I'm not hearing anything. But despite how it's showing on the phone, it's definitely like super clear. I'm gonna turn the lights off and maybe you'll be able to see a better like image of it. So yeah. So it lights off, you kind of see it better. Looking at it in person, it's like super clear, super high definition, so... It's definitely like high quality, super clear crystal picture, like how you get from a flat screen HDMI TV. I'm trying to do it at a different angle where you see it better. See how clear like the colors are right there. Uh um, I'm not really hearing anything, so I'm gonna hit start. I know it's a game board color game, it's Scooby Doo classic Creep Capers. So I think when I hit start, I sure hear some audio. And if I don't hear any audio, then I probably need to plug in the other, yeah, the other cables, because this one might just be for visuals. So let me hit start on my controller. Let me unwrap my controller real quick. Yeah, this game requires some kind of like complicated code, which I probably took a picture of on my phone before. Yeah, and I don't want to interrupt the video to check it, so I'm just going to quickly switch out the game. Um, I have the volume turned up all the way to like 53. I'm still not hearing anything, so I believe I do need to plug in the other cable. So I'm about to do that in a second. Um, you won't see me plugging in because the phone will be down, but I'll show where I have both cables plugged in. 
And I'm going to also switch out to a different game. Um, since I have the little Game Boy Player disc in there, I'll probably try like Super Mario Brothers right here or something. So bear with me, please. Alright, so I have the component cable, it's still plugged in. I plugged in my little audio cables right here. And let me just check the back real quick and make sure it's not something where they both need to plug into the back area. Yeah. Actually, see right here where it says component in. So I'm going to plug them in right there and I should hear some audio. So let me move on from the side right here. And it looks like audio's the red and the white cable. 